Hello, people viewers. Welcome to the viewer views. Today, I'm viewing the tenth Star Trek movie, Star Trek Nemesis. This is the last of the Star Trek movies based on the next generation, and the last be based in any of the TV shows. Um, before I get to the movie, I just want to say that I'm not all part of the controversial scene in the movie. I just I don't think it's here that I don't think it was needed and I don't think he probably even made it into the movie but what can you do? Anyway, in this as this person named St. John assassinates the Roman High Council or something or head of the Empire. I don't really know what to call them. And he just puts himself Ahead of the Robin and Ned Empire. Also, uh, Riker and uh, Troy are married in this, and uh, with Riker finally being the captain of the ship, they get to know the first officer, or was it Picard's number one so far? And the weird thing is, Picard is the best man of uh, Riker, and then when he's doing his toast, yes. That's making jokes. Like this guy that's like, it's serious about everything. The king just drunk for all this. But yeah, for some reason people complain that uh Wesley Crusher isn't in this scene. Yeah, a character that a lot of people hate or just don't like. And people claim are in it. I just don't know. And after the wedding, they get this uh, signal from uh, the planet, and it turns out the signal comes from an android who looks similarly to Data. And sounds a bit like him, but it sounds more uh, robotic. I don't know, not like, it just sounds a Bit like him, but something about the way he speaks, the way his voice sounds a little bit different. And then today I get to call by Captain Janeway. Yeah, the no Admiral Admiral Janeway, sorry, and yes, there's another egg Voyager cameo. Caesar said, "Tell him that the Romans asked for the Enterprise to pay him a visit or invite him to Romulus." Thanks to Sin uh, Oh, it's also there to tell Picard about uh, her plan to rule the, the cosmos and that she's the reason that he's able to have kids and also he's got other YA hair is gone out quicker or slower than usual. And I feel like he can't remember this because he put a uh, temporary amnesia uh, just in his coffee. Yeah, I think it's they made this crazy. Anyway, when the crew get to Rhombus, they meet the Jinjon and it turns out he's a clone of the kit and cigar that Romans made after uh, the Emperor got shifted to other people. They dropped it and they sent the clones to another planet. Now, since on is played by a Tom Hiddleston, Hiddleston, if I'm not going right, and that day he does the character great in this. He's creepy, medicine, and it's crazy. It's like a great James Bond or something. And the scenes with him and Patrick Stewart are just fantastic. It's just great. The most and uh, the local, um, I don't know, I'm not sorry, a date between the two of them, what, when they're comparing their lives, or when they're, well, when ads seem gone, but they give out the tickets. It's so good. Anyway, after that, they turn up the kid out the tickets, and he needs his lord since he's dying. And I love that. The, the, the twin robot brother 
uh, WB80 or something. Was a super agent that was uh, founded by uh, Jim Dom. He was up there getting coordinates for the other uh, star bases of forever. To destroy him, but. Well, it turns out that uh, the 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 pattern did collect the rule on Simon and did a free pattern, and there's a lot of space out between uh, the, the the Enterprise and Simon ship, and then some Romulans start helping out. But who said Robin would be a bad guy all the time? And there's sort of a weird moment where. Zinzon just sends a hologram on himself to the Enterprise. I guess they want to do something better than just uh, have him on the screen. But, whatever. And Troy gets one of the best moments they'll ever have. Probably the only best moments they'll ever have. Where he's uh, trying to get into uh, Zinzon's uh, Roy's had to find them because they're close. I am the boy is a play by a that play the uh Hellboy from Perlman. I don't know what to thank you for that. I think it was a good job as well. I think a lot of live actors do a great job in this. I only find a single ship and destroy it and Scar goes over to to destroy the... I don't know what it is... I can't remember what it's called... But it's sort of like a bomb that destroys every type of matter. I call it anti-matter bomb. And it just stabs Zimbabwe in the chest. That was good. And then when the bomb is going off, they is come on board and put on a teleport patch on the the car and shoots the thing and he dies. And in the end, the car is talking to his brother and he's just singing a song, probably the song that they had sang in, at the reception. And Riker and Picard are just talking to each other, saying it's both things, honor to work with the other. And Picard giving Riker some advice. And then there. This is a Good movie and a great story. Tackling the, the nature versus nurture of life. And it's not probably the only or the closest thing the guy would have had for a son, even though he, they do say that he is, they are like shudder. Um, it's just that it goes in the mirror of the uh, Picard and data because a, B, or whatever his name is, is kind of the mere data if he wouldn't have uh, found it by Starfleet that would use it for somebody else's goal. So, yeah. And the only problem I have with this has to be the controversial scene. As I said, I wouldn't really need it. I don't know why they made the one for that in. It makes no sense. Probably for a crazy moment, but. Ugh. That's a little scream when it saw that scene. I don't know it. Anyway, I give it a movie uh, 9. And then, um, with that, that's all the startup movies. I know they didn't do the second one, but I don't think it needs to be done. It's a great movie with some little flaws, but I think it will pass all of them. Um, I think that the soundtrack now is definitely, definitely my favorite. From next generation movies that can be in first contact. Um, that's all. That's all. So until then, I'm the group. I'll see you then.